It's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. And we are underway here in the third, still tied. Puck grab by Richard. Montreal's moving it into the offensive end. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Feeds the puck across to Marner. Moves it over to Horton. Fires it into the offensive corner. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. The Canadians have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Nelson. Looks pretty confident with the puck on his stick here in the offensive zone. You know he'd like to get his first NHL goal. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And the always popular icing. Means, Ray. Yeah, offensive zone face-off, man. He missed the play going down the ice, and that's a gimme icing. Now they can't change. You've got tired guys on the ice. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Important draw to win so you're not chasing around in your zone. Quick feed to Barner. Moves right to the middle. Scores, and they go up by one. Tied no more. That's a big goal to be able to take the lead. Goaltender's playing the percentages here, James. He drops into the butterfly, but he leaves the top of the net open. Gets beat up over the stick side. Toronto's gone up by one in this third period. Do you attack or do you sit back? Well, for me, it's always to attack. At least don't be conservative yet. Too much time left. That's set of ice now. He grabs the puck. Tries it to the crease. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Quick pass to Pacioretty. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. And he regains control of the puck. Comes up with the glove save. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. The Leafs have it against the wall. With some open space at center. Puck dumped in. The Canadians have it behind the cage. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. And the puck stopper tags up the skate and scores! You, you can have it bounce off the skate, James, but look at that. They've waved this off. Like a kicking motion is ruled by the referee. Waved off. Now they're going to review and it. It's whether this is a distinct kicking motion or not, whether this goal or count. I don't think it should matter. I think it should count anyway, but that's not how the game is written up. I, I applaud the effort. You just may not get that result or reward for it here from the officials. Uh, they're going to confirm the call on the ice. This is no goal. And the home team and their fans are not very happy. Toronto sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. I love playing on the power play. I like the extra time. I like the fact that you're supposed to score. If you can't handle the pressure, they're going to replace you. Smart defensive play there. Handles the pass at center. Matthews is a big part of this man advantage group. They've got a power play now, and he's already got one in the game. Turn that one aside. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. And he denied that opportunity. But he came out and challenged a good save. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Montreal's got possession while under man. Quick pass over to Drouin. Pokes it away in his own end. Bates getting physical now. Oh, wow, did he lay the wood to him. That's a solid hit. Not able to connect. Now he takes it over the line. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Centering pass! Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Takes the feed. Great defense. 
defensive effort with the stick. Moves it to Tavares. Man advantages up. Both teams back to even strength. Yeah, the officials didn't like that. The arms are in the air. Here's a shot. Look out. Dismiss that chance. Look out. Look who's stepping in here. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quick. He doesn't want the other guy fighting, that's for sure. Well, we can see this one coming all along. Right down Main Street. These teams don't like each other. This is predictable. Well, that'll add a spark to the game for sure. The building is pretty loud after that last fight. two here in this third period question is is it enough well, it should be i mean you can't kick away a game like this now if you expect to be a good team his third of the game scored on the power he almost lost it for a second there but regains control of the puck crunches him into the boards he used the boards as an anchor there's no one to go over. he's got a little jump nine seconds driving right to the front off the post montreal's got a hold of the puck and now he moves it to Koibu. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Man, did he steamroll over top of him there, Seaball. Look out. That was a great train on that one. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Grabs it in his own end. Now, the best defense is to play some offense as well. This is a smart play. With the lead, he dumps it into the corner. Now he can forecheck a little bit, try to kill some clock. And he comes up with it. Bowers goaltending at one end, and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. And they'll dump it in. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. The Canadians move to the offensive zone. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Canadians will play it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Markov. Let's it go. And he makes the save. Bowers taking away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. In the third Up along period. the wing. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Makes the save. Montreal's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. And now he angles it across to Tavares. Rocked him. It's a two-on-one. Fires to the empty net. Puts it into the empty net. That allows me to start packing up my briefcase. I just pretty well wrap this thing up. Oh, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Leafs have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Montreal's got a hold of the puck off the draw. 
scored. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Bowers under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Denies him again. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Dumps it in. Looks Whoa. like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. Boarding is the call. These are always ones that look a little dangerous in my eyes here, Ray. I don't know why the player can't quite stop when you see the player's numbers right in front of you. Don't hit them. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. William Nylander, two minutes Toronto's got it in their own zone. Saucers it take to take. Riley's got it against the boards. With the stop. Apsidis gets a shot on goal there, forcing the goalie into a save, and he can get back to work here, James. He's been sitting over in the penalty box in that five-minute fighting major. bring you all the action period number three is set to get underway Thornton's won it here's a short pass to Vlasic oh he rocked him some players have more of a physical presence he does have one and he really used his size to his advantage still early on in this frame James and Ray with you so glad you could join us Anaheim's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Gains the zone through center. Big time save on a big time shot. Grabbed along the board by Niedermeyer. The Ducks have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Solani. Receives the pass. Slides the puck over. Whoa. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Ducks are now up by two in the third. Really have played a good game to this point, and now you want to make sure that you continue to play in the same style. Cool. Found a little sliver of room, and now he's into the offensive zone. He'd love to get his first goal here. To his teammate, he scores! It's in, and I believe that's his first. Congratulations, his first goal. I don't think anybody expects much offense from him, but it's still got to feel good. San Jose's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. 26. A 
up the tempo these last few minutes. Hammers a shot, buries it for the goal! I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no goals in three games in the middle of the year, nobody cares. At the start, it really matters. That's got a stink for the goaltender. The puck hits the defender over the front. He loses sight of it and he goes in the net. They expected it, and they got it. Yeah, it wasn't if. It was going to be when this fight was going to happen. Not much to be said from the home team here. Their bench kind of quietly sits back down after their guy comes on the losing end of this bout. Yeah, the air from this building seems to have just deflated in here. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches, and both teams are lining up here for the faceoff. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Pumps the puck away. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. Niedermeyer's getting tossed with a game misconduct. Uh, certainly no way to come back from this. The official's made his decision. You gotta chew on this by your teammates and out of the rink. You almost wonder if there could be further supplemental discipline based on that. San Jose's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Their first power play of the night will commence with the faceoff. Win the draw, you've got puck control in the offensive zone. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Passes it over to Meyer. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Right to the middle. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Stop that one. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. He steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. The Sharks send their man advantage unit out once more. 
Hey, they say greed is good. Get one, get two on a five. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. San Jose's insurance marker has really widened the gap here in the back half of the third. And now it turns into a little bit of a free-for-all. They're comfortable with their two-goal lead, but the other guys, you know they're going to be pressing the play, trying to get back in it. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. There's the physical side. And he slides it quickly to Getzlaff. Time of the goal. 10 minutes, 51 seconds. Sends the pass over. Burns takes the puck. Takes the pass. Pavelski's been all over the place. It's like there's two of them on the ice. He's already got three points. The Kings are set to rack up some air miles here in the coming days. Yeah, they're going to load up on them. They head out of home, and they'll start a road trip. Quick pass to Meyer. Handles the puck. Wow. He scores! And I believe that's his first career goal. You bet it is. And while he's not a player expected to score, it's still a pretty darn nice accomplishment for him to get. The Sharks' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. That's a solid check on the play. Rocked him along the wall. Wow, did he finish that check off hard. He had him in the lights, and he didn't let him up. No, oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the block right. Smothered that in close chance. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. The Sharks move it in. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. The Sharks have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Hades one possession. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And it's a quick pass to Burns. Hammers wow. one the net. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. His reflexes on display tonight. That's just a great heads up read at center ice. Puck battle along the boards. The Ducks have it against the wall. And it takes a shot. Big time stop there. The Sharks gain possession in their own end. Chu's got it along the wing. The Ducks will kill off a few extra seconds now. Moves it quickly over to Solani. Break away. He scores! Well, they say good things come to those who win. Oh, he's been waiting, that's for sure. He got through his rookie score with nothing. But now he's got one on the board. Looked like the goalie was expecting a deke. He got back a little deep in the net. And the puck beats him with the shot. Anaheim's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives him a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Moves it to Meyer. And by number 32, time of the goal. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Pronger has been nabbed for tripping. As soon as the hands go up when they start to bleed with the ref, you know. Scores! Well, when it's your night, it's your night. Pretty clearly, there's times when a player gets all kinds of chances and can't put it in the ocean. This one, everything goes in for him. That's his third tonight. Lots of options for them on this power play. They've got a couple of guys that can take draws. They pick the one on his strong side, and he wins it. It's in the net. The Sharks continue to lead big here in this third period. His third San Jose's got the puck against the half wall. Blocked in traffic. Puck scooped up by Pavelski. Here's a short pass to Marlowe. Pass right in front, and they can't connect. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end, and that pass goes awry. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Move to the middle, makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Came up with the save on that play. Jaguar's one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way out. And he loses control of the puck. And that one's picked off. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Quick feed to Burns. 
The Sharks take it across the blue line. Oh, what a glove save! The Sharks have pummeled their opponents tonight. They have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock out. Stones up with the blocker. Slides the puck across to Nolan. No one home on that play. Slides it over with pace to Moen. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here's an odd man rush. Fires it. Great plus save. I'd like to look at that one more time. We don't get many hits like this anymore, but that's a textbook body check. Right there, big hit. San Jose's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. McDonald's won the faceoff. Takes control of the puck. Scrum along the boards. Here he is in front, and he can't get it off. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Couldn't connect on that pass. And he passes it up ahead to Perry. Slides the puck across to McDonald. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Nice pass. Right out front, and he easily stops that one. Chu's got it in the offensive zone. Big save. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Taken along the wall by Carla. Moves the puck to Perry. Inside the offensive zone. Strong defensive effort. Stays with it. And that one's broken up. The Sharks have played from the defensive zone. the win and a big part of that is hat trick performance he's so good when he gets the puck on his stick he's got a real sense of when to deliver it and he was lights out tonight they talk about wanting to have more fun in the sport this is a perfect example of that step forward well when the players started saluting the fans you could almost feel like the connection between the two of them started to increase i think it's a great thing to do and look how much fun everybody's having for ray ferraro i'm james sabalski thanks for joining us tonight Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. This one's still deadlocked as we are now underway here in the third. From the slot, wrist shot, stones him in front. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. And he coughs it up with the pass. Steps into it, and the goalie somehow gets a piece of that one. Passes it to Backstrom. He got all of that one. Quick pass to Esposito. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Nice poke check. Oh, brutal, but nice hit. He laid the shoulder in. It's a clean hit. There'll be no penalty. That's a devastating hit. And now he moves it quickly to Ovechkin. The Capitals play it along the wing. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Knocked away. Boston's looking to break out. 
Dishes it to Pasternak. To the low slot. Denies him in front. High quality chance, high quality save. Green's got it across the line. Oh, man. Oh, man, James. That was big. Takes control of the puck. Oh, big collision there. James, he had the homing device on there. He saw the chance and lowered the boom. Turns it away. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. That's sent in deep, and the forwards will change. Slides it across to Pasternak. And he slides it quickly to Marchand. Right in the slot. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head Whoa. on that as they were so close. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. Holtby's probably the one reason that this game is the way it is. His save percentage has been outstanding. He's working his way through the offensive zone, James. He doesn't have an NHL goal yet. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Slides it across to Horton. Pokes the puck away. Cross ice pass! And they can convert to the play! And a great save! Moves it quickly over to Oshie. Boston's grabbed a hold of the puck. Across the line from center. Move to the middle! And now it's grabbed by McAvoy. Gives them nothing in front. And now it's over to Orpik. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Cutting to the slot. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. Oh, did the goalie fight hard on that? So much open room, the shooter just slides it into the net. Boston's close to the finish line, and they've got the one goal lead. Keep pushing. You've got the lead, but don't let it slip away by trying to be too conservative. Washington's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Busick. Here they come, three of them. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot, nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Takes the feed from his netminder. Moves it to Yoansu. Chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Boston's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Oh, what a stop! Picked up along the wall by Backstrom. He'll need a new stick after his breaks. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Neely. And look at this, a three-on-one. And that one's broken up. The Capitals are on the attack. Slides it across. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Scooped up along the wall by Backstrom. That pass goes a little sideways. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Let's the wrist go. And he rings the post. Jostles the puck loose. Big hit on the boards. He uses the boards in perfect form here. He closes off the gap and runs him in. Couldn't complete the play. Under a minute to play in this dandy. Quick feed to Bergeron. Trying to get back on the attack now. 50 seconds left, laying the body. The Bruins take it across the line. Here's the pass, he scores! Well, he's on the board, it's the first of a long season. You want to get the run as quick as you can. That's a great pass, good hands. Then you elevate the puck over the defender's stick and the shooter catch and release, and it's in the net. Late goings of this period. Boston's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped. Play resumes. Well, a challenge being laid here. Yuensu's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. And there's the save. Sends it over to Wilson. Looking to make something happen along the boards. It's in! He scores! That's his first! You didn't expect much off this from him, but man, this is taking a long time. Great to get on the board. 
The Bruins aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. Esposito's won the draw here in the open ice. Scored by number 94. A can't connect with the stop. Washington's got it in the own zone. And that one's picked off. He says, let's get physical on that play. Well, driving hit. James, I didn't see that coming. He closed the ice there so quickly, and he just laid him out. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. If you can control the puck, you control the pace of the game. And I thought that had a lot to do, James, with the way this turned out. They seemed to have the puck a lot. Did it also seem like the ice was maybe tilted in this one tonight? Well, if it is, then the engineer's got to fix it no. because you can't have an uneven ice. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Keeps hold of the puck. Centering pass. And that one's blocked. Barber's picking up steam. Throws it in. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Vegas looks to break out in their own end. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Philadelphia's gained possession. Boom! The Golden Knights take possession here in the open ice. And now he angles it across to Smith. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Vegas gains control of the puck. Violent collision. He moved in quickly. If you go at that pace, you take away all the available ice. Answer the call on that play. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. That pass doesn't go. Grabbed along the board by Giroux. Couldn't connect on that pass. Sends the pass over. Makes the save on the slapper. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Philadelphia's got it, and they're on the attack. Denies him! Hill's had a solid night here. Save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. Sends it quickly to Engelin. Now a quick pass to Marcheseau. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Gets the puck in deep. Big hit on the play. Did you catch that down there? I almost caught his gloves. He cares. And they're going to fight. Yeah, he didn't like that. He got his gloves off pretty quickly. Always amazed at how much a fight takes out of a player for the rest of the day. As they get escorted to the penalty box, they've got to try and regroup so they can play again. Even the officials look exhausted trying to get control of this one. Well, the crowd's right back into this one after a Vegas pretty spirited tilt just moments ago. Zach Whitecloud, a five-minute major. Vegas moves it ahead. Here they are on the attack. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Vegas has it in the defensive end. Maintains possession. Out front. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease, aggressively to make the save. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. 
Vegas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Puts it on goal, and he comes up with it. Provorov stick handling in his own zone. Tremendous hit. Taken along the wall by Reeves. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Moves it quickly over to Stastny. The Golden Knights carry it along the wall. Knocked away. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. And that pass goes awry. Picked up along the wall by Stastny. Not able to connect. And he coughs it up with the pass. Here he is from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. And we'll play on as that goes off the outside of the post. Can't connect. And they can't connect. Moves it to Leach. Can't catch up to the pass. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Golden Knights moving ahead. That's a solid hit. Oh, and he can fake his stick for that one. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Sends it across. Buries it for the goal. I always wanted to have a fast start. It's funny, you go no goals in three games in the middle of the year. Nobody cares. It's a start. It really matters. Philadelphia's come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away. Now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. This neutral zone face off set to go, and we are back underway. Off the left wing and into center. Puck scooped up by Eichel, and he makes the save. Smart heads up, play to neutralize the threat. Philadelphia's coaches had talked about stick positioning to us before the game. There's a great example. They've done it all night. Stop! across there. Enough air to clear the sticks and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Golden Knights have all the momentum right now leading by two. Here's a short pass to Stevenson. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass over to Briere. Can't connect. Vegas has it in their own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Flyers looking against the half wall. Quick feed to Marcheseau. Oh, what a hit. Ray, you can hear that from here. How about you? Yeah, oh yeah, that'll give you a headache. That was a solid hit. Look out, a two-on-one. Solid hit on that play. From the back end in front, denies him in close. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. The Golden Knights have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Eichels won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Gostasberg. Quick pass to Simmons. Right in front! Turned aside by the goaltender. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And there's the final horn, bringing this one to an end. Boy, in a day and age of social media, there's so much hype and pressure surrounding and to see the rookie live up to that tonight with the win, that's impressive, right? He'll never forget this. He'll go into the room after. They'll have the puck taped up. You'll have a picture of it. Everybody will be happy because they won. It becomes a perfect night. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.
The officials made his way to center, and this third period is about to go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Made the stop on the play. Goalie plays it up. Quick feed to Medano. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. It's in. He scores. That's his first. You didn't expect one cross in the trouble, but man, this has taken a long time. Must feel great to get on the board. Well, if he was about four inches taller, maybe he would have got to that desperation effort, but no goal. Dallas has been the more complete team tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Scored by number nine. Big time defensive play. Passes the puck over to Labushkin. Found a little sliver of room, and now he's into the offensive zone. He'd love to get his first goal here. Time to the goal. One Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Oh, how did he keep that one out? What a save. Slides it quickly to Bissonette. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Sends the pass over. Dismissed that chance. Belfort's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. We're still in the early stages of this period. Dallas continues to lead by a pair of goals. Keller's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Here's the pass. And that one stopped. Arizona's got it behind the net. The Coyotes take over on possession. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Drills them. Moves the puck across to Sagan. Centering pass. And that's broken up. Arizona's moving it along the wing. Dallas looks to go on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Sagan. And that's just out of reach. Moves the puck. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Heiskanen's going off for interference. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. Just turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it love it. The Stars played along the boards. 25 seconds. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. this one. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Potter's got it along the wing. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. That's dumped in and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Feeds the puck to Bissonette. Gains the zone on the left wing. Bringing the physicality tonight. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Bodker's got it into offensive territory. Here he is, shot right in front. Turn that chance aside. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Klingberg's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. About halfway through this play, you can see him ah, in the wrong spot. He should have let him go. He didn't, and he gets called. And he's going to pay for it now. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Sends it over. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. The Coyotes have it behind the cage. Over the line they come. Move to the middle. Gives them nothing in front. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good saving close. The Jets are up next here on this extended homestand, Ray. Yeah, I saw their equipment down in the locker rooms around the dressing rooms. They'll put them in after this team gets out of here. The homestand continues. Passes over to Hintz. Devastating hit on the play. James, sometimes you can hear the hit. That one, you felt it. That's set in deep. Arizona's got the puck along the boards. Feeds it to Wang. It's a two-on-one. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. The Stars move the puck in the defensive zone. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. The Coyotes can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back 
to even strength. But you work so hard for the lead, you don't want to give it back by coughing up a couple of power plays. They get bailed out by their penalty killers. Nice job there. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And the puck stopper, they score! This seems like an inevitability here. Once the late penalty arm goes up, it seems like the defending team just fell back on their heels. They didn't do anything really to slow down the opposition. But that's a quick one-timer right in front of the net. The pass is there. He's got no time to do anything with it. And he beats the goalie. The Stars are in cruise control here, but they're showing no signs of letting up. No, the lesson began about two hours ago, and it's not class out yet. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Look out! And somebody says there's no hitting it off. Somebody get their first goal. Everybody seems pretty excited for him. Arizona's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. Yeah, James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Scores! And there's the hat trick! First time this season, he scored three. He's done it before, but it never gets less exciting. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. has been in the fast lane all night long. Just simply look at the scoreboard. A lot of people have gotten right offensively for them in this game. They have dominated this since the very beginning of the first period. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Labushkin. Circles back to center ice. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Time of the goal. Here in the late goings of the period, the Stars just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Dallas is getting goals from everybody up and down the lineup. I hope they got enough lights in that score clock to keep the goals coming. Dumps it in. Moves it quickly over to Robertson. Big hit. Really aggressive play. They're down a long way here, but there's no quit in them. Feeds it on over to Hull. Couldn't complete the play. And he slides it quickly to Turris. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's blocked. Here's a chance behind the net. And the puck's kicked free. Stays with it. The Stars played along the wing. From one point man to another. Nothing doing on that. In the third Arizona's got it in the offensive zone. Puts it on that with the stop. Grabbed along the board by Pyatt. Let's it fly. Save made by the goalie. Puck scooped up by Medano. It's a three on one. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Takes the pass. And we've got a two on one. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Denies him again. Sends it ahead to Ng. A thunderous no. collision. He could have used an airbag. He got thumped <laughs> there. <laughs> Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Hammers him. Do up your chin strap. That is a solid hit. Oh, a clutch save. Belfers tracked that puck so well. He's right there to make the save. That'll do it, and man, oh man, what a special night. But Daniel's team gets the win, and a big part of that, his hat-trick performance. He's so good when he gets the puck on his stick. He's got a real sense of when to deliver it, and he was lights out tonight. They're feeling good about this one, and here they come back out onto the ice, Razor. Unreal support from their fans. They salute them. A thank you for their efforts tonight. Hooray, Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.